Okay, students, in this video, I'm going to help you a little bit with those equations where the variables are on both sides. Uh, we started some of these in week four, and then you're continuing in week five. Equations with variables on both sides. Now, when we say both sides, we're talking about both sides of the equal sign. See, those are equal sign. And we have an x on the right side there with the 6x, and we have an x on the left side there with the 4x, but it's in parentheses. So, the first thing we always want to do is simplify. Now, when we simplify, that means we want to use the distributive property and combine like terms. When you get it down to two terms, it's probably simplified like it is on the right side here. That side's already done. But the left side, we have parentheses. We have to distribute this to. Do not add 3 plus 2. Uh, so we're going to add 3 later. 2 times 4x is 8x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Uh, I'm not going to write down the right side yet. It's all done. Uh, I'm going to combine like terms. The like terms I'm combining on this one are the 3 and the negative 10. Pay attention to those positive and negative signs. So the 8x is going to still be there, but now I'm going to have 3 plus negative 10 is negative 7 plus 8x. And now the other side, which is already simplified, because see, look, it's down to two terms, the x term and the non-x term, the constant term. So now it's simplified. Now when you get ready to solve it, you have to cancel out one of the x terms if you have x terms on both sides. Because when we're done solving, you can't have x terms on both sides. See, we have an x term on the right, we have an x term on the left. Can't have that. They all have to be on the same side. So one of them has to cancel out. I'm going to cancel out the 6x. And to do that, I'm going to use subtraction because that's a positive 6x. So I'm going to add negative 6x, which is like subtracting 6x, adding negative 6x to both sides. OK, these cancel out now. All I have on the right side is negative 19. On the left side now, I have 8x minus 6x, which is 2x. And I still have that plus negative 7. But now I have all my x's on the right, on the left side, on the same side. So now I can add 7 to cancel out that negative 7. So I have 2x equals negative 19 plus 7, I think is negative 12. And then I can divide by 2. See, the last two steps are the same as before. But before I do those last two steps, these are the last two steps I'm talking about. The addition and the division. Those are the last two steps. Those are the solving steps. Solving only takes two steps. Addition and division. Or addition and multiplication. Or subtraction and division. Or subtraction and multiplication. Okay, but the rest is simplifying and getting all the x's on the same side. Now there's two special cases you need to be aware of when solving an equation with variables on both sides. Here they are. So on this special case over here on the left, we have a lot of simplifying to do on both sides. So let's do that first. On the left side, we're going to distribute the 3. So that's going to be 6x minus 12. On the right side, when we Simplify that, we are going to combine like terms. We have an x here and we have a plus 5x here. That would be this x is 1x. So that 1x plus that 5x is 6x. I also have a plus 7 here and a minus 19 here. That's like 7 added to negative 19 or negative 19 plus 7. And that is negative 12. Now you might notice already that the left side and the right side look pretty much the same. But we're going to do one more step at least. And that one more step is to get all the x's on the same side of the equal sign. So I have to cancel out an x term. I'm going to cancel out this 6x just like we did in the last problem. I'm going to subtract 6x on both sides. This time they all cancel out on this side, leaving me with only negative 12. And on this side, they also cancel out, leaving me only with negative 12. 
Now, you notice that we have negative 12 equals negative 12. Well, that's true. Negative 12 does equal negative 12. Negative 12 will always equal negative 12. It doesn't matter what the x value is. The left side of this equation will always equal the right side of this equation because all of the x's canceled out. See? All the x's canceled out. Didn't matter what the x was because they all canceled out. You know, like, that's kind of like if we were having... Uh, a big, um, let's say, fight of some kind, and you had a giant on your side and I had a giant on my side, well, they cancel each other out. So, like, no advantage for, to anybody. See what I mean? So all the x's cancel out. Uh, that means if the left side and the right side are equal, see, that, that's true. That x can be anything. So the answer for x, x can be any number. Well, that's an infinite number of solutions that are possible. Infinite. Let's write that over again. Infinite number of solutions. No matter what number I put in place of the x, it'll make the left side and the right side equal to each other. I could put 100 in place of the x on the left side and 100 in place of all the x's on the right side and do all the math, and it comes out to be equal. Okay. Let's go to the other special case. In the other special case, we have a lot of simplifying to do. Here's our equal sign. We have a lot of stuff to do on the left side. We have to distribute this 3. Do not add 5 plus 3. Distribute that 3. Save the 5 plus for later. 3 times 2x is 6x, and 3 times 9 is 27. That's a minus 27 because it's a minus 9. Let's combine that positive 5 and that negative 27. That's going to be negative 22. Right? Negative 27 plus 5. Pretty sure. On the right side, we're going to combine the 2x and the 4x. That's 6x. They're both positive. And we saw that minus 4. Now, in this one, when I subtract 6x from both sides to get all the x's on the same side of the equal sign, and they all cancel out just like they did before, my result is negative 22 equals negative 4. Well, negative 22 is really not equal to negative 4. That's not true. That's false. Like, we can never make it true. How can you make negative 22 equal to negative 4? You can't, because all of the x's canceled out. If there was an x left here, see, then we could make it equal, but there isn't. See, we could make it equal because we could choose the correct x to make them equal, but all the x's are canceled out, so we can't. So no matter what x we choose, we can never make the left side equal to the right side, because all the x's canceled out anyway. So this one has no solution. Now, both of these cases, all of the x's canceled out. But if the result is true, then you have infinite number of solutions. x can be any number. If the result is false, then there is no solution possible. Those are the special cases. Now you know everything. Good luck with that special knowledge that you now possess, and you can solve any linear equation.